so very fine good morning students uh, so today uh, what we'll be seeing is we'll be moving to the next lecture okay so in this lecture what we'll be seeing is the uh, we'll be seeing about the breakdown in your liquids okay so in a previous uh, class and all we have been uh, uh, seeing the different kinds of breakdown in different mediums okay so we have first started with the uh, breakdown in gaseous medium then we have uh, moved on to the uh, different theories uh, which are governing the gaseous uh, breakdown followed by the vacuum breakdown uh, uh, we have seen vacuum in vacuum medium how it has been so after that uh, uh, we have been uh, dealing uh, today we'll be seeing with the liquid breakdown so in this lecture what we'll be seeing is that the different kinds of liquid breakdown we'll be seeing so basically if you are saying means a liquid can be of two different types okay so one is uh, will be falling under the category of pure liquids okay? so the next one will be falling under the ca category of commercial liquids okay so these are the two main categories so with respect to these two categories we will be seeing the liquid breakdown in the this lecture okay so and then the different mechanisms uh, in the commercial liquids also we'll be covering in this lecture okay so moving on so this is the heading to so conduction and breakdown in pure liquids first we'll be getting into the pure liquids so before going into the pure liquids you have to know what do you mean by pure liquids and then the commercial liquids okay you have to know that the difference between the pure liquid followed by the commercial liquid so in general uh in the day to day activity if you are uh, comparing in the pure liquid will be from the raindrops which is coming uh, directly from the atmosphere to the earth surface followed by your distilled water so those uh, are the example for your pure liquids why in the sense means these pure liquids will not be having any kind of uh, ions or charges within them they will be very much uh, purely distilled okay so so the amount of charges or the impurities inside them is very very minimum if there exists any kind of uh, impurities then uh, it can be classified them into the commercial liquids okay so normally even our uh, drinking water is will be coming under the commercial liquids only because uh, our drinking water will be having some uh, minerals and ions so in general these uh, commercial liquids should be of uh, uh, some uh, having contain some dust particles or uh, charged ions okay first we'll be seeing the conduction and breakdown in, in, in your pure liquids so what do you mean by pure liquid so pure liquids are nothing but are the liquids which are chemically pure and do not contain any impurity so that's what i have said they won't be having any kind of impurity and they will be 100% more than 100% they will be uh, pure okay so the impurity in them or the ions present in them will be 0.000% okay so that's what they are giving uh, the impurity will be even in traces 1 of 10 power 9 which indicates nothing but 10 power minus 9 okay that is 1 divided by 10 power 9 okay and are structurally simple so the structure the molecular structure they are speaking about here so the molecular structure of these will be very simple because most of these pure liquids will be coming under uh, your uh, organic uh, uh, compounds only so in your uh, 12th chemistry or 11th chemistry you might have uh, studied with organic chemistry in organic chemistry followed by your physical chemistry you might have studied so over here mainly the organic uh, uh, compounds will be uh, of the pure liquid structure okay So moving on uh, the next question is as it is pure so there won't be any kind of conduction but how there might be a breakdown in these kind of materials so that might be your uh, next question so the thing is that uh, similar to your avalanche breakdown in your uh, uh, semiconductor devices that is for example if a uh, silicon is going above uh, 0.3 uh, volt means then the conduction will be starting similar to that if okay if 
a very low electric field less than 1 kilovolt per centimeter so here what we have to see is the value that is for 1 centimeter you are applying you take a, a jar in a jar you take the pure liquid so in that pure liquid you take the uh, 1 centimeter that is if you are uh, having the jar for 1 centimeter and if you are uh, pouring the pure liquid inside that and you are applying 1 kilo volt okay and if you are applying 1 kilo volt then the conduction in the pure liquid is possible so that's what they are saying so they have taken a minimum threshold limit as 1 kilo volt per centimeter and if you are applying over that means your pure liquid will also be able to discharge so the conductivity will be of a very less value only so the conductivity will not be of a, uh, more value but the conductivity there will be conductivity which will be very very negligible one okay so the uh, why it occurs so why it occurs means these are due to the impurities remaining after purification process even after the distillation and purification process there might be some amount of uh, uh, impurities in them okay so due to that, uh, this small negligible amount of conduction is possible. Okay. So next, what they are saying, but when the fields are higher, that is, if you are increasing the field above this one kilovolt per centimeter, okay, then what happens? The currents not only increases rapidly but undergo violent fluctuations. Okay. So in general, if you are uh, that is a, this is similar to your exponential rise okay exponentially if you are increasing your electric field means your current values will also be increased so that's what you might have studied in the uh, physics uh, the amount of uh, uh, charge production you might have studied okay so this is a main condition okay so here you can see so first a very uh, small current will happen so very small current happens then it gets a transfer into three different regions okay first at the very low electric fields the current is due to the dissociation of ion similar to your ionic similar to your what you can say uh, ionization process okay so that's what over here so the electric field is first minimum so over here it comes with uh, ionic process takes place next what happens the intermediate electric field that is after the low electric field you are still more uh, uh, increasing your electric field value then what happens the current reaches some saturation value the current will be constant that, that, that's what they're saying the current will be increasing uh, exponentially okay the slope will be some uh, the same okay so that, that's what they're saying at high field still more if you're applying the electric field means the current generator because of field aided electron emission from the cathode, okay. okay, this is what the thing that is. Still, if you are improving the high electric field, means the current generator due to the field aided electron emission from cathode gas yes, multiplied in the liquid medium. Okay, this is be mainly similar to your Townsend type mechanism. So, this will be more or less similar to your uh, what you can say, your uh, uh, gases breakdown only. The increase in current by these process continue till breakdown. Okay, so this electric field and the increase in the current will be occurring higher, will be exponential increasing till the breakdown. So like conduction and breakdown in your commercial liquid. Commercial liquid. As I have said, so these are the liquids which are not uh, pure okay? so they will be having some impurities in them okay so what are those impurities if you are seeing me first one is the uh, uh, gas bubbles followed by your suspended particles suspended particles mean some uh, unwanted particles over there which will be uh, floating over the liquid these impurities reduce the breakdown strength okay reduce the breakdown strength of the liquid the breakdown mechanisms are uh, also considerably influenced by the presence of these impurities. 
so based upon the type of security okay, the breakdown will also be affected so when breakdown occurs in this liquid or in the side effect means additional gases and gas bubbles are evolved okay and solid decomposition products are formed so next is the electrode surface becomes rough so this is what uh, similar to your cathode uh, heating so we have already seen right so at the time of uh, explosive sound okay, explosive sounds are here okay, so this is a side effect due to generation of impulsive pressure through the liquid next is a breakdown so breakdown uh, i have been saying uh, breakdown breakdown like that so uh, in general breakdown in uh, electric field uh, uh, is uh, nothing but uh, it's a process wherein the insulating material okay the insulating material will be uh, Or the dielectric strength or the insulating capacity is loosen, okay, and suddenly the medium becomes a conductor. Okay? So that's what breakdown means. I have been really uh, uh, saying about this concept. Okay, you just recall about the what is breakdown. So don't forget uh, the basic. Okay, so breakdown mechanism how it occurs means uh, is dependent as seen above. on several factors first one is the nature of the nature and the condition of the electron second is the physical properties of liquid okay and next is the impurities and gases present in the liquid okay. so the several theories have been proposed okay first one is the suspended uh, particle mechanism so these are the theories revolving around the revolving around what you can say the commercial liquid first one is suspended particle mechanism second one is cavitation and bubble mechanism so third one is pressed oil oil volume mechanism so these three are the things okay so first we will be dealing with the suspended uh, particle mechanism so what they are saying is in commercial liquid the presence of solid impurities as the name uh, suggests the presence of solid particles or be suspended or it will be floating over the liquid surface so that's are the responsible so what is causes that uh, these impurities will be present as fibers or as dispersed solid particles the permittivity of this particles that is epsilon value will be different so in the suspended particle the variation due to the epsilon value will have an impact okay so if we consider these impurities to be spherical the shape okay the shape they are saying about the shape they are the considering the impurities of this particle to be spherical okay and uh, if the applied field is e then they are saying about the force so this is the force this you might have this formula you might have uh, dealt with your uh, field theory okay like okay. what they are saying if the voltage is continuously applied okay or the duration is long then this force drives the particle towards the area of maximum stress so what they are saying is that uh, if the particle is uh, uh, prone or uh, what you can say it is uh, uh, to the maximum it is uh, displayed or, or uh, impacted by the excess amount of uh, the electric field means there will be a maximum stress on the suspended particles the suspended particles will be subjected to maximum stress okay if there is only a single conducting particle between the electrodes okay then what happens it will give rise to local field enhancement depending on its shape okay. so if this uh, field exceeds the breakdown strength of liquid okay local breakdown will occur so in general you have to have this alone in knowledge Okay, mainly the first thing is that the epsilon value will be uh, varying okay so after that uh, we are applying a, a very heavy electric field means so there will uh, fit is uh, for a long time then there might be the instability in the uh, ion 
ions due to the impurities okay so that's what they're saying if the number of uh, particles are large they become aligned due to these force and thus form a stable chain bridging the electron gap causing the breakdown between the electrons so next so and the first step what happen is that there will be a formation of a bubble so if the bubble is formed due to the impurity or uh, the air bubbles uh, or also might be uh, considered as a form of an impurity then what happens this formed bubble will be tending to elongate okay. so how it elongate it elongates along the direction of the p okay. the, but the volume of the bubble remains constant during the elongation so uh, the bubble uh, length increases but the volume will be the same okay. so suddenly what happens uh, if the, the field is keep on increasing means there might be possibility for the breakdown of the air bubble okay so the breakdown occurs when the voltage drop along the length of the bubble becomes equal to the minimum value of the passion curve okay. so similarly the same thing will be again repeating so what you have uh, seen in your gases breakdown the passion law will be also be again repeating over here so the breakdown field how much they have given The next is the stressed oil volume mechanism. So here, what they will be saying is that this is very very important uh, uh, topic, stressed oil mechanism. Uh, this we can actually uh, expect for your uh, uh, 13 mark. What they are saying is that uh, in commercial liquid, so uh, the breakdown strength is determined by your largest impurity. Or the strength of the largest impurity can be okay. So that is okay. here they have given the breakdown stress okay, maybe kilovolt per centimeter. So this is your stress to oil volume. So what they're saying is that the electrical breakdown strength of the oil is defined by the weakest region in the oil, it is so true, right? So if the oil is uh, not uh, in the weakest region means the breakdown will be occur. So the breakdown occurs at first at the weakest point. Okay? The region which is stressed to the maximum and by the volume of the oil included in that region. Okay? So in non-uniform field, this oil volume is taken as the volume which is contained between maximum stress than 0.98 so this is a some kind of a threshold value okay so according to this theory what this is that the breakdown strength is inversely proportional to your stress oil volume so this you can infer from your graph so as the uh, breakdown strength uh, stress decreases your stress oil volume increases stress oil volume is nothing but the uh, volume of their suspended particle, okay? example oil. Okay? The breakdown voltage is uh, highly influenced by gas content in the oil. Okay, this being uniformly distributed, increases the oil volume consequently results in detection in the break. Yeah, to minimize the breakdown, what you have to do, the oil volume has to be uh, equally or uh, uniformly distributed. So the possible question for over here is that uh, uh, different mechanisms uh, of the commercial liquid breakdown they might be asking. So the second thing is that they might be going for the suspended oil mechanism. This important question. They might be separately asking in uh, eight months. So that's all. Uh,